A T N T Sportsman. We air the game. Pittsburgh Penguins hockey and tonight from PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh, PA, the Penguins look to slow down one of the league's hottest teams as they meet the Calgary Flames. Casey DeSmith starts for the second time this season for the Penguins. Top line of Evan Rodriguez, Jake Gensel, and Dan Heinen up front on the back end will be Mike Matheson and Chad Ruedel. Penguins in their home black sweaters, Calgary in their road whites, Pittsburgh attacking left to right, and your opening faceoff is brought to you by number one Cochran. Go one better as the puck is iced to begin this game. Luger drops it left side for Dumoulin. He's bumped there by Kachuk, who shovels it towards the high slot area, poked out the center by Goudreau. In he comes, down the left wing. Johnny Goudreau left circle, shoots, he scores! Goudreau picks the glove up over to Smith, and it's one nothing Calgary. What a play in the defensive zone by Johnny Goudreau. It's a pass by Kachuk. It's a blind pass. I thought maybe the Penguins were going to intercept in the slot because it was a bit of a hoper play. But Johnny Goudreau with those buttery hands just gets his stick in and just chips the puck over John Marino and then gets the wheels going. And Marino collided with his defense partner just for a second. And that threw him off stride. And that allowed Goudreau Excuse me, it wasn't his defense partner. It was Bluger. Just a little collision, and Marino couldn't get back. But what a shot by Johnny Hockey. From about 27 feet, he goes bar down. I mean, he had to pick the perfect spot. His head up all the way. There was a little tiny hole over the glove of the Smith, and Goudreau found it. One out the Flames. Skates over center red. Now the Flames line as he trickles it to the far corner. It's Tanev up ahead for Dubé. Turned over. Gensel slaps it to the near side wall. Ruedel tracks it down. Down low for Heinen. He goes in front. Gensel there. Shoots and he's stopped by Markstrom. To the point man, Matheson. Right circle for Gensel. Surveys out of the boxes. Coleman. Gensel centers in front at the flex down low. Looking forward to O'Connor. He's got it. Centers back in front. A shot from Zucker is robbed by Markstrom. And he hangs on. He's able to see it. Everything was good there except that there wasn't a body in front of Markstrom. And Zucker could have stopped it, maybe picked his spot, but he thought he was going to catch Markstrom shuffling from left to right and find a hole. But the big, big body of Markstrom was able to make the save on Zucker. Keep it one nothing Flames. Jacob Markstrom's won each of his last two starts after dropping his first two. Made 28 saves on 29 shots in his most recent start. A victory against the Rangers Monday night in MSG. There's the wheels of Friedman. Looked like Coleman was going to be an all by himself. And the moves from Zucker as he comes in on a goal on the forehand and just misses to the near circle. A shot from Freeman stopped by Markstrom. Rebound loose atop the crease and Markstrom may have gotten the paddle on Drew O'Connor in tight. Where do you get it? You get it at Get-Go. Get-Go Cafe and Market. Better believe it. Shot off the draw. The Flames extend their lead. Blake Coleman at the center point position with a shot that got up over Casey DeSmith into the back of the net. And a minute four seconds into this third period, it's 2-0. Well, that was Sam Lafferty on the draw. He got beat clean. And I, I just hate this. It's a set play off the faceoff. And when you lose it clean, it's tough for everybody to adjust. And Coleman, who was down by the faceoff dot, but once this faceoff was won clean, it went right to the defenseman. Killington, he sent a beautiful one-timer pass to Coleman, and with that traffic in front taking the eyes away from Casey to Smith, it sails up over his left glove hand. Casey was guessing right. Blocker side, it went glove side. It fooled him. He never saw it coming. But those face-offs that you lose clean like that, like Sam Lafferty did, it's tough to recover. 2-0 Flames. 
Flames control. Lindholm back to the point for Anderson. Slides it left wing for Goudreau. Into the left circle. A half slapper stopped by DeSmith. Kachuk centering atop the crease. It's loose. Goudreau a chance. Denied by DeSmith at the near post. Oh, lightning quick. Casey DeSmith. Here's Goudreau. Swerving around. In the near attacking zone. Back to the point it comes. Fed for Anderson. Center point position. Steers that one deeper into the Penguins end. And it will not have enough steam for icing. Pedersen curls it all the way around out the center for Gensel. He had a man fall down. It's Gabranson. Gensel across the hind and rips one on goal. And a save made by Markstrom sliding right to left and hanging on. Tries to go down low. That's intercepted by Dubé who turns it over in the slot. Over skates the puck but it comes to Shillington. Feeds it ahead for Goudreau off the left wing. Over the line. Right side has a man cutting in a shot at the right circle. They score. Dylan Dubé. Takes the feed from Goudreau and beats to Smith, and the Flames lead now up to 3-0 here with 9.45 to play. Well, just like that, and a bad pinch by John Marino. But he gets back on the play, but it's a 3-on-2, and Zach Aston Reese can't get back on Dubé, but what a play by Johnny Goudreau. By far the best player on the ice, Johnny Goudreau. What a play he makes to allow the center lane drive by Brett Ritchie, and that opened up the cross-ice passing lane to number 29, Dylan Dubé, and he walks in. He's got a day and a half to get his head up, pick his spot, and he goes top glove short side on Trist, excuse me, on Casey the Smith. Now 3-0 Flames. Puck scoots up the near side wall, tried to be kept in by O'Connor. He couldn't quite get the handle, does now at center, and finds Pedersen. He'll feed it right wing for Friedman. Back over to O'Connor. Lost the handle in the neutral zone. In comes Lucic, 2-on-1 for the Flames. Lucic down the left wing towards the goal. Shot, he scores! Milan Lucic makes it 4 nothing. Calgary off the turnover. Now yeah, that's Drew O'Connor just trying to do too much. And the puck rolls right off his stick. And the Penguins are trusting that O'Connor is going to get the center red and get it in. I mentioned... Penguins defenseman jumping up. Marcus Pedersen jumping up on the play, thinking, okay, I'm going to join the attack here. Drew's going to do the right thing, but he turns it over to Lucic, and he walks it right in. And for Lucic, he scored an ex exactly the same goal like this the other night against the Devils. First goal of the game. He walked it in. Nothing fancy. He just zips it as hard as he can right on the ice. A little bit of a triangle called the five hole. And it hits the stick of Casey the Smith and trickles into the goal. 4-0 Flames. 12 seconds to go as Friedman crosses center red, rips it back into the flame zone. Ricochets to the far corner. Stone drives it behind the net for Anderson. Up the near side wall for Backlund. Skates up the left wing, throws it out to the neutral zone. And that will do it. A perfect road trip for the Calgary Flames. 5-0 as they top the Penguins. 4-0 here tonight at PPG Paints Arena. Penguins suffer their second straight loss.